Hey, Trey. Um, all right, first we're gonna start with Palmer Toms and then Anthony Dasher. Hey, Palmer, you're on mute if you don't mind unmuting yourself. Hey, Trey, uh, wanted to talk about the injuries you've had to overcome um, in, in getting battling back for this uh, NFL preparation. What's that been like for you? Well, it's been great, man. Being down in Tampa, uh, trained at uh, Yo Murphy in Tampa, it's been great, you know, just to come back down here for pro day and, you know, be 100% for everything. So, Hey, Trey, good to see you. Uh, I know the end of uh, your season last year was kind of cut back with the two procedures you had on your knee, but uh, obviously you're, you're healthy now. Uh, um, just kind of just, just real quick on that, just how, how, how much of a setback, if any, was that, but also the fact you, you already got your degree. It took you just three years to do it. How big a deal is that for you and your family? It was a big deal for me, you know, to get my degree. My mom wanted me to get my degree in three, so, you know, I had my head down, you know, and just stayed working each and every day. Uh, in the classroom, and that was a big deal to me, my parents, and you know, I did it for them. So, all right, up next, let's have Nick Farbaugh and then Raphael Haynes. Hey, Trey, uh, two questions here. First, have you had any communication with the Pittsburgh Steelers? And second, you kind of have this brawler style of play on the interior there at center. Do you kind of watch guys? Uh, what, what guys do you watch really to model your game after? Um, I watch uh, several guys, but, you know, I'm me. I'm Trey, and I don't think nobody can take that away from me. I watch uh, people like the Pouncey Twins. Obviously, one did play for the Steelers, and I have talked to them a lot. So. Hey, Trey, Raphael from the Three Point Conversion. Uh, Two-part question. First, um, what, are your, um, what are you focusing on to get better at moving forward? Mm -hmm. And then... What is your inspiration? Like, was it a family member, anyone that, or anything that's been an inspiration throughout this whole process? Repeat the first question again. What What are um, some of your, um, some of the attributes or some things that you want to improve on? Okay, um, improve on just the whole aspect of the game, film room, little steps, um, getting to know what D-lineman lined up at, um, the hand placement, movement, just the little things that'll get you over the top and get you over the edge in this football world. And who I do it for, I do it for my parents, my family. I mean, they deserve all the praise for this. They're the ones that help me get to this point and I want to do it for them. So that's my why. All right, up next, let's have Matthews Ornelas and then Chip Towers. Good afternoon, Trey. Mateus from Brazil. Um, for a, a lot of offensive linemen, when they go to the NFL, especially the center position, they have to usually have one year playing at the guard or like sitting on the bench a little bit for develop the game, for the speed of the NFL. This is a problem for you, like playing the guard, like the first year or sitting on the bench, maybe for the first season for be, a, uh, be more ready for the NFL level. No, I think I'm good. Like me playing guard or center, I think I'll come in as a day one, ready to go type guy. I mean, I'm the guy that you can call on, you can go to, and I'm gonna know everything that's going on on the field. Just from me playing center to me playing guard, it helped me develop in many different type of ways from calling the fronts or, you know, giving everybody to play the information to do their job. So I feel like I did a great job doing those things. So in the league, it won't be no different. Thank you a lot. Good luck. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Trey. Yeah, specifically on the knee, I'm sure you've been asked a, a ton by the NFL guys about it, but did, did you have both knees worked on after the season and, uh, you know, exactly how much rehab and everything was involved after that to where you are now? Can you proclaim yourself 100%? Oh, yes, yeah, so it was a lot of rehab uh, went into it. I did tear both of them. Uh, lateral tears and got both of them scoped in the same day. But rehab, that was a big part of my process and, you know, me getting back on my feet to 100%. So once I got that done, you know, everything else took care of itself. All right. Thanks so much, Trey. You're welcome. Appreciate y'all. And good, and good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you so much.